Japanese military jets roam the clear skies above Tokorozawa this morning in an otherwise peaceful neighborhood. Just how many of them must pass over Futagoyama stable each day, I wonder. No special reconnaissance was needed to divine Kakuryu's condition this morning. The Yokozuna has freely admitted he's not ready for this tournament and has not fought any practice bouts since withdrawing from the last tournament on July 20th. However, with the Tokyo Olympics apparently happening next year, whatever the situation, and the Kisenosato precedent of eight uncompleted tournaments in a row fresh in the memory, the 35-year-old Mongolian has zero intention to retire. He lent his chest to Kiribayama today, he will consult with his coach tomorrow before announcing whether or not he'll compete. At the moment, expect a withdrawal. Understudy Kiribayama's practice bouts were thus contested against lower division colleagues today, all 19 of them. Having studied footage of his stablemaster's active wrestling days with liftouts galore, this is the former Ozeki Kirishima I'm talking about here, Kiribayama is anxious to try the same technique himself and has promised to go for it at least once in September. Coach is always teaching me how to do it, but I'm struggling with it, he confessed. He really was amazingly strong. Just as his high-ranked opponents will be in the weeks ahead, which is why he views this tournament as, above all else, the perfect chance to grow. It doesn't matter whether I win or lose, it's just great to be going up against these top guys, he said. No news at all on the other Yokozuna, Hakuho, which is concerning, but his stablemate Enho gave a long-awaited interview today. He was alarmed to weigh in four kilos lighter last month, and claimed he was getting knocked off his feet more easily in training. We understand he worked hard to put that weight back on, binging on noodles post-July, and cooking lots of curry. He now weighs around 97 kilos. Enho also reports that, on the insistence of coach Miyagino and Hakuho, he's reverted to basic push sumo in training to boost his attacks from the front. These past two tournaments have seen me relentlessly attacked and my lack of weight exploited. I'm thinking about how to make myself heavier up there, the little man said. Now, what's it like to be in a sumo supporters club? Well, I can only speak about the ones open to the general public as opposed to the exclusive ones made up of the rich and famous. Prior to every tournament now, I receive a Kotoshoho newsletter telling me what he's been up to. Sometimes with a personal message from him, and always with a message from the Kashiwa supporters club office. In this month's newsletter, I got a breakdown of his results in July, a message from the supporters club to him to mark his 21st birthday, alongside a cute picture of him aged just one, a signed rankings chart, and, given the season, a special gift to help keep me cool, a Koto Shoho plastic fan with illustrations by top sumo artist Koto Tsurugi. If you've seen the temperatures here this week, you'll know how much I need it.